Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on Anubhav Learning Series. In this series of videos, we are learning how to integrate SAP BTP, SAP S4 HANA and Chat GPT together. Chat GPT is a chatbot powered by OpenAI. It's, an, it's a very powerful artificial intelligence based chatbot which allows you to solve your questions, review your code, pass even an MBA exam for you. In the last set of videos, we learned about how to set up our BTP account, how to work with the Chat GPT API and generate the API key, how to integrate with S4 HANA using APIs, and also built our very first set of steps in a workflow to take the user message, extract the purchase order ID, and pass that to S4 HANA. If you've not seen the previous videos of this series, I will put the link in the description of this video. You can go ahead and check the scene. Moving on, so by far we developed our workflow where we execute a service task to extract the purchase order ID from a user message, map that to a purchase order ID variable, and pass that to our open API provided by S4 to extract the sales order information. We got the sales order information in a, in a JSON format. Our next step will be to prepare an email out of this response. So we can say sales order info dot D dot results, and we're going to pass this results to the chat GPT to be able to get a mail performer ready. So let's go ahead and create a, another script task to prepare our payload to be sent to chat GPT. I'm going to create a script task and let's call it as prepare payload for email, generating an email, and we're going to create a new file, prepare GPT, or prepare email payload. Yes, and we create this script, and in this script, we are going to first read this information which we received from sales order info dot D dot results of zero. So let's do that. I will switch over back remove everything and I say dollar dot context dot input we will see where we will pass the input to the uh, to the chat GPT but now we have the information here in the sales order info in the context so dollar dot context dot sales order info dot D dot results of zero that's the payload part if you remember the chat GPT payload was this one model message and temperature so I'm going to prepare that payload entire payload at runtime so dot input dot messages dot content yeah so that is what we will be using so I can come here to dollar dot context dot input dot messages messages I hope is an array there is a zeroth item called contained so that's the new content which we are going to send to chat yes rest all things remain same so I'm not touching anything so we'll send now the new content to the chat GPT so we are going to pass this information equals to this whole result which we got from the from the s on API concatenated with my email preparation task to the chat GPT. So if you remember earlier we tested the same manually write an email to convert this JSON to a meaningful text. Yes that is what we did keeping in mind the customer asked for the purchase order status if the status returns A it means none of the items are, are, are delivered at the moment. If it is D that's the status. So this is the context which we need to pass along with the payload from S4 HANA team and it should create the email yes so let's copy this content straight ahead paste that and now that's our new payload to be sent to chat GPT fantastic so I save this and we are ready with our new input so that is the input which we are going to pass so let's create a new task which is the service task again to call chat GPT we are going to reference the first task where you use ChatGPT 
and completions. So we can come back, pass the path, pass the destination name. It's going to be a post call with the input context. So that also I get. That's my input. And finally, we will receive the mail body. Yes, that's what we're going to receive. So let's create mail body. This is a new variable called mail body, which we are going to trigger and send it to the email. So let's add a final email task right after this. My mail body is prepared by ChatGPT, and I will be using it to send email to customer. Go to details. We are going to send email to my personal mail ID, anubav.abap at gmail.com. That's my mail ID. And we are going to say hello, hey customer, or hey. I can now put the context information. So in the contacts, we also have the the sold to party information. So dollar dot sales or ID dot digit dot results of zero dot sold to party. That that information I can also extract and put that here. So I can say dollar context dot sales order info dot d dot results of zero dot sold to party wow hey this customer name here is your order status yes. and we can just simply pass the mail body which was prepared over here to this documentation and we are good to go. So this should trigger an email now at runtime to the customer based on our data. Makes sense, makes sense. To my mail ID. So I'm going to receive an email live in action once the everything is complete. Okay, so let's build to the last step. And we are going to Deploy. Build is done. Let's deploy the latest status of my workflow. So it has got PTP, it has got BDP workflow, it has got APIs, it has got chat GPT, it has got S4 HANA, it has got script task, everything all in one. Wow. Wow. Awesome. So now it's deploying. It's done. Let's go back to the system. I will also show you my mailbox in a minute. So before I start anything, let me show you my mailbox. So at the moment in my mailbox, there shouldn't be any email, of course. So that I will just show it to you. Of course, I need to blur it. So you can see right now there is the last email is from Google Ads. Yeah, that's the last email. So let's go ahead and trigger now the workflow. We are going to go back to the workflow. And now you can see it's running, yes. And in about few seconds, you're going to see magic. So you see, mail body is also ready. And you see, it's got message and content. Oh, 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 I've done a mistake. So I've taken the whole mail body and sent it to the user. I should have taken the mail body dot choices dot message dot content. I'm so sorry, guys. I need to just change a bit. Otherwise, this mail body is not going to look good to the user. So we can come back. To put dot choices of zero dot message dot content. That's the exact mail I should send. Okay, let me rebuild. I will be sharing this entire workflow with all of you in the description of this video. You can download entire workflow and upload it in your BTP account with just one click. And you'll be good to go. So let me deploy again. We're going to trigger a, another email. So an automated email has to come to my mailbox. You see it is still deploying my workflow. Yes, deployment is done. We can trigger the workflow now. So I'm going to go back to the home and we're going to start the workflow instance 
and immediately switch to the monitor workflow screen where it is running. You can see it is running over here. And now we need to go back and just refresh. It's completed guys, it's done. You can see execution log, the mail task was also started and completed. Everything is done, you see. You can also check the workflow context in case you want to debug something. You want to investigate if everything is working or not. You can always go ahead and check like this. So what do you expect now? You do expect an email. And yes, there you go. Hey, the sold to party. Here is your order status. And there you go. We hope to see this email finds you well. You've reached out to us regarding your purchase order. After checking the status, we found that status is A, which means it's not yet delivered. We hope to see this information helps you to track in the progress and we'll let you know for further questions and concerns. So a fully automated email was sent out from our workflow, all thanks to the chat GPT. Cool. So I hope you like this video series of learning how to integrate chat GPT in S4 HANA. To see more videos like this, please like, share, subscribe this channel. Do not forget to smash the bell icon to get notified for more amazing content like this. I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much. 